Verizon Fios no longer prorates your bill when you cancel your service. Hey guys, quick video today. I recently canceled my Verizon Fios internet service at home, and I found out that Verizon no longer prorates your bill when you cancel your service. What I did was I canceled my account 10 days into the month, and when I got my final bill at the end of the month, they had charged me for the entire month. Now, I thought this was strange because I know I've canceled Verizon services before, and they've always prorated the bill. So what I mean by prorated the bill is that if you use 10 days, you pay for 10 days, and then you're not charged for the remaining 20 or 21 days in your billing cycle if you don't use the service. But this time I canceled my service, and when I got the final bill, they charged me for the entire month. Now I did a little searching online, and I ended up in the Verizon Fios forums, or at least the Verizon forums here, and some people are talking about this. They said they canceled their service after the one-year promotional price ended and the bill went up. That's what I did. And they found out that when they canceled their service, it looks like this guy canceled his service one day into his billing cycle and his final bill was for the entire month. Now, in my case, it wasn't that bad. I canceled mine 10 days in and ended up paying for 30 or 31 days, whatever it was for the, for the month. Now, in this thread, people did say, check the terms and conditions of service. And, you know, I always talk about the small print, the fine print on this channel. I went and looked, and in the terms and conditions of service under item 10, termination or suspension of service, it says, unless otherwise required by applicable law, termination will be effective on the last day of that month's billing cycle, and you are responsible for all charges incurred through that date. All right, what does this mean if you're a Verizon Fios subscriber or really a subscriber to any home internet service or cable service? You might want to check the terms of service before you decide to cancel your service and switch to a new one and see whether or not you're going to pay for the entire month if you cancel during the monthly billing cycle. Wish I had done that. I didn't. I didn't realize it. I know I've canceled Verizon services before and the bill was prorated. So it looks like, well, they made this change at least two years ago by looking at this forum post over here. So that's pretty much it. If you're thinking of switching your service from Verizon Fios and you're planning to switch to something else, just make sure you line it up with the end of your billing cycle so that you don't pay for a service that you didn't use. Now, I have nothing against Verizon Fios. I think it's great. In fact, I signed up again. Actually, my wife signed up for it. And last year, we were using the Fios 100-100 internet plan for $40 a month. I actually think that's a pretty good deal. Fios generally seems to be better than the competition where I live, which is Xfinity, Comcast. So I'm happy to continue using Fios. But what happened was the $40 bill went up to $55 a month. Now, the bill was probably more than $40 when this, once the taxes and fees were added in. But the bill went up like $10 a month. And that's a pretty big increase. If you go from $40 to $50 a month, that's an extra $120 a year. And at $40, that's uh, three months worth of service. So it was definitely worthwhile to change it. Uh, it ended up costing me a little bit because I ended up paying for about 20 days of service that I didn't use. Now, if you're interested in checking out Verizon Files, I'll put a link in the description below. You can check out the deals that are posted over there on slickdeals.net. So if you made it to the end of the video, leave a comment below and let me know what are you using for home internet service? Do you have home internet service? Are you paying for a plan with just internet, internet TV, internet TV and phone. Be interested in hearing what you guys are using and how much you're paying for it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video, and I will talk to you next time.